here with Mo Saha, who is an amazing artist who makes all sorts of things. And today we are making a book into an art journal, which I think That's is such right. a cool idea. Yes, because art journals are built up in layers and the pictures and the images and the text in a book, they just provide an interesting substrate for any art journal. Awesome, so how do we get started? Okay. Uh, first of all, because we are going to make the book bulkier when we add stuff, we are going to cut some original pages out of the book. For that, I'm going to slide my cutting mat in here and take a ruler. And just go ahead. Now, you're not actually measuring with the ruler, right? No, you're just I'm not using measuring. It as a straight it's just, edge. Because yes. I noticed your ruler doesn't actually have any lines on it. No. It's just pretty. It's just pretty, and <laughs> uh, having that just lets me know that I'm not cutting into the binding. Right, and I was gonna say, it looks like you're using a pen, but what you're actually using yeah, is a blade. This is a little blade it's in there. It's a little blade in there, which is awesome. So you, and I know you've paper clipped everything together to keep it nice and tight so that you get yes. that nice clean edge. Mm -hmm. Really and, cool. And uh, when I do this, uh, I'll keep the, say, the next five to seven sheets. And after that, I'll cut out the next five to seven sheets and go like that. So we have about reduced the book by half. Cool. And you don't worry at all about leaving this tab or anything that like that? That will get covered. And if I don't like it, I can just go back in and cut it off a little more or tape over it. So cool. that doesn't bother me. So next, I'm going to make a collage along the edges. What? So I think this is the coolest thing ever. You have to explain to people why you're putting this under here. Yes, because I do not want any paints or mediums to get on the other pages. Mm -hmm. And then I don't want my book to be stuck together. Yeah, and I've seen people use wax paper and stuff, but using page uh, dividers or whatever those are from yeah. the office supply store is a great idea because yeah. they're plastic mm -hmm. and easy. And you can reuse them. So that's great. And I'm going to just collage some scrap papers. Like this is an envelope. Uh, newspaper and just along the edges because when I add paint it's not gonna curl up it's gonna make give it some body mm -hmm. and that's gonna keep it all straight so you're just gonna use some gel medium yeah and I'm using a soft matte gel medium and you're just gonna put some directly on the page and I notice you're not actually gonna cover the whole page no just the edges just the area that you want to clutch, because it does dry relatively quickly. It does, and um, it doesn't make it stick to the other pages, you know? We don't want our books to be We don't want to be a solid shot. block, right? Yes. You want to actually have the pages that you're using. That's right. And while you do that, and I'm going to help you create your focal yes, image. Yes, the focal point. So what you've done, and you have gorgeous calligraphic handwriting, is I know you've just gone ahead and drawn out for us this beautiful saying, and then we scanned it into our electronic cutter, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that file. And now you said, how big did you want me to resize this to? Mm, something less than, a little less than five inches by seven okay. inches. So a little less, because the book is about that size, yes. right? Yes. So a little less by five by seven. Okay, I think I got that going on, there you go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my scanning mat out of the machine and I'm gonna go ahead and put in this craft cardstock. And I like that you're cutting this out of craft colored cardstock. I think craft is one of those underused colors. People yes. tend to use white or black. But craft is really nice to use yeah, for all I sorts have, of uh, stuff. Yeah, I have already worked on a page that I did as a black background. And Julie's going to have I'm going to go ahead quote. and pull this quote off. And while I'm doing that, can you tell us a couple tips? If anybody wants to turn an art, a book into an art sure. journal, what are some tips? The size is very important. You don't want it too big or too small. You just want it just right in between. And you want to make sure that the spine is intact so that it can hold up to all the alterations that you make. Other than that, make sure that the pages lay flat when you open the book. And the pages should not be brittle. And I have this cut out for you, and I love the way that it matches your handwriting here. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let's take a peek at some of your other pages. Repetition looks so cool. Yes. And I love the stamps and all that kind of stuff. And look at this beautiful terrarium. Yes, this is actually a coloring page that I cut out. Uh, cut out. That's a great way to use those pages. Mm -hmm. Mo, I love this idea where you can take a book and really make it your own. You've even decorated the cover, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here.